All right, here's a quick intro video for uh, a beautiful three acre tract, uh, direct frontage on the Rocky Creek Conservation Area along its entire east side. Um, and its west side actually um, borders a well-maintained gravel county road, County Road 421 in Shannon County. So as we look, I'm, I'm using the MapRite program, which we've been using for a couple years to, to show the properties. Uh, this should be in the listing as well. Uh, we can also send you a private link for it. So actually, um, when you go to, to check out the property, um, we can if you get the free MapRite app for your phone or your tablet, um, smartphone or your tablet, we can send you the link for this map uh, via email. And then if you open the link uh, and click on it and open it up within the app, not only will you have this map on your phone or tablet, but there'll be a little colored dot to indicate where you are because it works on the, on the GPS uh, signal within your phone. So it's handy for getting to the property and it's awesome for walking the boundaries of the property because you can literally have your phone in your hand, walk all the way to the west. Uh, it, it's quite accurate. You'll see when you're in the conservation land. Really, really cool. Anyway, <laughs> back to the property. Um, so very rare property. It's one of about a dozen tracts in a, in a small private development uh, called the Tracts at the Rocky Creek Conservation Area. Um, this, I believe, is the southernmost tract. Um, like you can see here, it's about three acres in size. Um, and let's... Uh, Let's go ahead, let's actually zoom in first and we'll take a look at this. So anyway, the, the shaded area you, you see up here in the upper right, that's the Rocky Creek Conservation Area. Uh, the green area is the Mark Twain National Forest. So actually, you have direct frontage on the Rocky Creek Conservation Area and you have access into the Mark Twain National Forest because both are uh, public land. So you can cross over the Rocky Creek Conservation to get into the National Forest. Um, but I mean, both are, are similar in that they're open for public use, for hunting, for camping, miles and miles of trails, uh, rivers, creeks, all that good stuff, um, literally bordering your property, which is really cool. Okay, so we'll zoom in here. I'm going to zoom way in and we'll have a look at this. Okay, so here you can see the property. Uh, it's basically all wooded. Um, this Google map is is a fall um, a fall map. So, I mean, we've got some of the fall colors here, but uh, it's fairly level here on the west side, slopes up as you move toward the east, and then once you're on the east side, it levels off again. Actually, we can do the topo map here. If you're familiar with topo maps, this will make sense. If not, it'll just look like a lot of squiggly lines. Um, but basically, every on this topo map, the distance, be, the elevation distance between two lines is 20 feet. So, when the lines are close, uh, it'll be steeper. When the lines are further apart, or non-existent, it's going to be flat. So here on the west side, um, large, basically flat area. You can see on the topo map, there is a it's a seasonal uh, creek that crosses over the west side of the property. Um, so we're we're level here on the west. As we go toward the east, it rises up, and then it actually levels off again on the east side, um, where it's adjacent uh, to that conservation land. So uh, a lot of really really good options. This dotted line you see is an old old trail. Um, we couldn't find we couldn't find it out there, uh, according to this topo map. Apparently, at some point in the in the 50s, roughly 1950s, there was some kind of trail that started on the property. Um, it it doesn't exist that we could see, and it's certainly not an easement or anything like that. So, um, let's go back to the Google map. Okay, so that's showing the property fairly well. Uh, so yeah, I mean you've got some options over here on the west side where it's flat. Um, otherwise, you could create a trail going up the, uh, the hillside to get to where it levels off on the east side. If you look at some of the other videos in the listings, we have a short video taken here on the east side um, where we walk kind of into the conservation land and back onto the property. Uh, I think it was taken down in the southeast area, uh, in an area with some smaller timber. Uh, if you get up toward the northeast, you can see we've got more mature timber. Um, this hillside area has smaller timber, and when you get to the west side, uh, you've got a lot of bigger mature timber. Although the, the entire property is a nice mix of hardwood trees, as well as uh, some really beautiful pine trees. So, I mean, it's a beautiful mix of property. Very, very hard to get property that, that fronts uh, public land, as well as a county-maintained road. It's just extremely hard to do. Let's go to a street map so you can kind of see where we are here. Access to this property is great. It's only a couple miles off of Highway 60, but it's very, very private. Whoops. Okay. Zoom out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so this is the little town of Birch Tree, and this is Highway 60. So from Birch Tree, you go east 
uh, about two miles, and you can check the listing for more precise directions. Um, you're going to go north onto County Road 452. So you take a, you go left if you're coming from Birch Tree. You go left, but you go north onto County Road 452. That's paved. Follow that around, and you just go 100 feet, and immediately take a left onto the gravel road, and that's County Road 421, and that's what you take out to the property. So you follow that, comes to a T, stay to the right, follow that all the way up to the property. And there should be a sign in the trees saying Tract A. So um, there are some different small uh, private developments out there with some signs, but this will be the only Tract A that you'll see. Uh, so you should know it when you come to it. There you go. You can see on this map, this is a cool uh, map, these street maps. So the light blue area is the conservation land. The darker green area is the Mark Twain National Forest. So you, you can literally go from your property into tens of thousands of acres uh, of public land. I mean, you can go all the way. Uh, this, is, this is cool. This is the Peck Ranch, Con Peck Ranch Conservation Area. It's where the uh, Department of Conservation released uh, a large herd of wild elk a few years ago. Uh, they're attempting to, to populate the Ozarks with a, an elk population. So they got a wild herd from Kentucky or somewhere, uh, and they released them within the Peck Ranch, and, the, and they're growing the, the elk herd in the area. So that's only a few miles away. The purple areas are the Ozark National Scenic Riverways. So over here, uh, northwest of the property, just a few miles, you've got Jack's Fork River, uh, which flows through Eminence and then over into the Current River. So this area over here is the Current River. Um, both really popular rivers uh, for fishing, floating, canoeing, all that good stuff. Eminence is the county sh county seat of Shannon County where this property is located. Um, they call themselves the trail ride capital of the U.S. So uh, horse riding is big there uh, as well as floating and, and kayaking and canoeing and all that good stuff. And as long as we're on this map, let's zoom way, way out and show you about where we are in the beautiful state of Missouri. So again, here's the property uh, over toward the right. If we go to the west, uh, a little over a mile, we've got Springfield, Missouri. That's the biggest uh, city in southern Missouri. Um, 20 miles south of Springfield is Branson, Missouri. So that's a very short drive. Going back to the property itself, actually, let's go out a little more because this is really well located. Now that we've kind of lost our, our little dot that shows where it is. <laughs> but if you follow the hand, the property's right about here. Uh, so, I mean, you're within about a half a day's drive of St. Louis, Kansas City. Springfield's only a, a little over an hour away, um, and you're also not that far out of Memphis, Little Rock, um, and there's another another big one somewhere that I'm forgetting. Nashville's actually not that far. So, I mean, yeah, really just a great area. Um, some large lakes um, within a sh not too long of a drive, an hour or two, uh, but the big draw out here is, is going to be bordering that conservation land, um, which gives you access in, into not only the, the Rocky Creek Conservation Land, but also the National Forest. And uh, I mean, you can you can explore tens of thousands of acres directly adjacent to your property of public land. So that's really cool. That's another thing where the MapRite uh, app might be kind of handy on your phone. So yeah, check us out at instantacres.com. Uh, we're going to have a, a bunch more info and pictures, and we should have a drone video and, and all kinds of really cool stuff on this property. So uh, we are super excited about it. Um, got some basic restrictions in place to, to keep things looking nice. Uh, you can certainly hunt on it. You can certainly camp on it for up to 45 days in a 12 month period. Um, you can build a home or cabin, um, gotta be 600 square foot minimum on a concrete foundation. Um, pretty, pretty basic stuff. Uh, and that keeps the area, um, and this small development looking good for years to come and protects your property values. So, um, if you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, check us out at instantacres.com. And we would love to hear from you.